So, Captain America Civil War. So the plot of Civil War is, of course, after the events of the last couple of films, the government wants the Avengers to, I don't know, join them, pretty much. So they all have to sign these papers to join up with the U.S. military, pretty much, to keep them in line. But, of course, Captain America doesn't think it's right. He still believes in the free will and what we should do it should still be best for us Iron Man doesn't really think so easily being bought in by a woman who lost her son in Sokovia and yeah but there's another threat and this threat wants the Avengers to get re I mean wants to get revenge on the Avengers as best way as possible and that's for them to fight each other pretty much and make them look guilty all at the same time to take them out of the equation completely I'm just gonna go ahead and say it Captain America you have the better trilogy in the entire MCU this is without a doubt the best cinematic trilogy I've seen from a movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to date and the way this movie goes out is with the big ass bang and I love it I fucking love it, and I'm going to talk about the two biggest positives of this movie, and that is Black Panther, bad fucking ass, just awesome, his introduction got a little bit of screen time, not really too much into his backstory, however, because the movie is still coming, but we got enough just to eat that shit up, and it was great, of course, Spider-Man, Spider-Man had two integral big key moments because of course you have to reintroduce him into the Marvel Cinematic Universe for everybody else to see which they did well I love how he's brought up and uh, his Aunt May played by Marissa Tomei oh my god Marissa Tomei you're fucking sexy as fuck okay even Iron Man had to point that out I'm like yeah uh -oh. Marissa Tomei is fucking gorgeous I don't know how she still looks like that. It is insane. And of course, in the airport fight. The airport fight was probably the best fight scene I think I've seen in a long time. Great character development put into that fight scene, as well as great character development throughout the entire movie. You actually find out who Agent 13 really is, which if you read the comic, you probably already know this. But if you don't and haven't really uh, been paying attention to mostly of the source material, I'm going to wait for you to see the movie before I even bring that up. I'm thinking about doing a spoiler talk from this. And then Captain America's interest in it is kind of odd. Kind of weird. Because of what happened before with her past. So it's it was kind of weird seeing them there. I'm just going to put it like that. We also got a big tease of uh, Scarlet Witch and, of course, uh, Vision's relationship in this movie. So I'm glad they actually kind of teased that a little bit. They didn't really shove it down your throat, but I'm glad they actually put it in there because it's actually part of the source material. Thank you for following that guideline, Russo Brothers. Speaking of the Rooster Brothers, your direction is so fucking awesome. I wish WB would have hired you for their fucking Justice League movie. I want you guys to direct both Justice League parts. You guys got the Avengers part 1 and 2, and I already know you got that well in your hands. You got this. You, you can direct every other movie in the cinematic universe, and I wouldn't give a fuck, because you guys know what the fuck you're doing. Within two years of Winter Soldier... You made another movie with a badass Captain America saying how you guys do this. I don't know how the fuck you do this, but I'm glad you do it because somebody has to and somebody has to bring the best trilogy to an end. And y'all do it very, very well. Action in this movie is top notch. The airport scene is just badass. Crossbones gets his time in there a little bit before, of course, the main bad guy who once this who set it all set up all this mayhem in the first place he doesn't really do much but i still feel like he's an integral villain even though he really doesn't get his hands dirty but yeah i loved it i actually loved it 
acting in this movie is top notch. This is Captain America's movie, however, but they did they, they did not let up on Tony Stark. He is the second second co star in this movie and it shows between him and Cap's chemistry. So hell yes, Black Panther. Bring on that movie in two thousand eighteen. Fucking Spider Man, I'll see you next summer, goddammit, because you're fucking awesome. This is the the best Spider Man I think we've ever gotten in all five movies. Well, besides Spider Man two, because I still hold fat that as my second my most favorite Spider Man movie to date. So yeah. With all that said, best way to end the best trilogy and the best way to start. Phase 3 is Captain America will get my badass seal of approval. Go see this movie when it comes out tomorrow. Because I'm actually going to go after work tomorrow night to see this movie again. So this time it's going to be an IMAX. So hell yes. But uh, I'm glad I got a screening for it. Because uh, I thought I was going to get one. But I scored it. So yes, let me know what you guys think about Civil War. If you've seen it down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it?